Hello there. What's going on, everybody? I'm coming to you today with X-Wing 2.0 Wave 2's Resistance RZ2 A-Wing Expansion Unboxing. That's a mouthful. We're going to take a look at this first brand new ship for the Resistance in quite a while. Uh, taking a look at this thing for X-Wing 2.0. And uh, we are going to rip this thing open and try to without breaking it because these uh these packs are actually kind of hard to get open i think i need better tools but uh while i'm doing this i do want to remind you guys uh there is still time to enter the superstar destroyer giveaway that is going to be announced on uh december 21st so stay tuned for that a few days left to still enter that awesome awesome epic giveaway and we're going to uh be giving out a cool stuff gift card in the form uh, or in the value uh, to get you a Super Star Destroyer for Star Wars Armada. Now, if you're not playing Armada, you can probably get whatever you want. I'm not going to force you to buy something you don't want to buy, so you can use it for X-Wing stuff or for whatever you really want to buy. Um, but, yeah, all you have to do to enter to win that is become a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. And here it is. It's pretty. It's pretty folks it's nice and smooth and sleek we got a little paint on the bottom too you don't really see that in the previews yep look at that that's nice looking let's uh actually compare this to uh the rebel a wings let me grab one of those real quick ah uh, there it is okay so very, very similar, a little more narrow. You know, you can tell it was definitely designed to be very similar to that. Um, but good looking ship, good looking ship. Gonna be distinct enough to kind of stand out. But let's, uh, I'm gonna put it on a stand here and then we can go ahead and open up the rest of this stuff. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at these cards that come in this expansion now. These are not cards that are going to be found in the conversion kit. So if you are just getting in to X-Wing 2.0 right now, and you're thinking a conversion kit's going to get you everything, that's not. It's not going to get you everything. So first thing, we're going to look at the cardboard. Hopefully we have everything we need. There's two uh, shield tokens there. We've got our dial. We can do the S-loops and the 5K turn. we got a lot of blue on there as well. We've got Tally Lintra. We've got our turret right there, the small turret. There isn't even a small turret in the conversion kit as well. Um, we do have target locks. We do have a focus and an evade. And we've got some charge tokens. We've got the number nine. We've got Lulo Lampar and Greer Sonnel and our generics. The A-Wing is pretty nice, and you won't know from looking at this, but the A-Wing does get two talents, so for it's... It's pilots that have the elite pilot talent, or what we call it in 1.0, or just now the talent. We're going to be able to equip multiple talents. So that's kind of cool. Let's take a look at our pilots. First off, uh, let's look at the ship card itself, because we get a lot of cool stuff here. We've got uh, we've got our pilot skill, uh, Lulo Lampar's pilot skill 5, and uh, the A-wing that Lulo's flying has a focus, evade. Uh, we've got uh, target lock, barrel roll, and boost. Two shields, two hull, three agility, two attack, primary attack, turret. Uh, however, it's a turret that can only go forward and backwards. You can rotate your turret indicator only to your forward and backwards uh, arcs. After you perform an action, you may perform a red boost or rotate turret action. So you kind of always have pushed the limit as long as it is uh, you know, you're, you're, you're boosting basically, or, I mean, you, you know, if you move past somebody, you can just swing your guns around to the rear. Well, that's the idea here is that, is that these guns here will swing around and point backwards. So Lulo's ability is while you defend or perform a primary attack, if you are stressed, you must roll one fewer attack die or one additional attack die. I'm sorry, one fewer defense die or one additional attack die. So basically, really, really nice. This is a, Here's somebody who really wants stress, kind of like Tycho, right? Now we've got Tally Lintra. There's also really good art on these cards too, by the way. 
It, and it, it's always, I mean, all, they always have really good art, but these are especially good too. Um, when an enemy ship in your bullseye arc performs an attack, you may spend a charge. If you do, the defender rolls one additional die. So it doesn't have to be pointed to her. She can be supporting somebody else, which uh, is really helpful if you, maybe she wants to defend one of those star fortresses. She's also initiative five. We've got Greer. Greer Sonnel. I think Greer is from uh, the Leia book. I think that's where Greer is from. Greer says, after you fully execute a maneuver, you may rotate your turret arc. Okay, that's nice. Uh, you know, Good deal if you want to fly past somebody and flip those guns around for free. At initiative four. At initiative three, we've got Zary Bangle. I almost said Zary Bagel. I thought Zary was a bagel. Uh, you do not skip your perform action step after you partially execute a maneuver. So a little bit like your Arvel Krind, um, you know, he can bump into you and then he can maybe barrel roll back and still, uh, still be able to shoot you. Green Squadron Expert. Uh, nothing there. I believe that one does have the EPT the, or the talent, the double talents. And Blue Squadron uh, Recruit is not going to have the talents. Uh, at last, as last I looked at the app, there'll be no. Uh, but still cool. You know, th this is your cheaper, cheaper pilot here. All right. Now we do have some quick build cards as well. Here is uh, one for Lulo, Greer, and Green Squadron Expert. And then we've got one for Tally, Lintra, Zari, Bagel, and Blue Squadron Recruit. I know it's not Bagel, but I like to say Bagel. All right, we also have some, let's do some upgrades. We have Heroic. Heroic, this one does come in the conversion kit. Actually, I don't know if there's anything in here that doesn't. I think, oh, that's the, okay. We have one, I think, that doesn't come. So Heroic is actually, even though it has Tally Lintra on there, so you're thinking, oh, this is gonna only come with the A-Wing, it does come in the conversion kit. While you defend or perform an attack, if you have only blank results and have two or more results, you may reroll any number of your dice. This is actually a really cool card because what this is doing is it's really, really, it's, it, it's something you're probably not going to use on the X-Wings as much, although it could work for defensive. Um, but this is basically telling you, you can, you know, get guarantee you have, it, if, as long as you take a focus, you're guaranteeing at least one damage. I, I say that, it's not really, because you could roll double blanks twice and the odds of that are pretty slim. But uh, if, if you do roll double blanks on your attack, you, you can re-roll any number of your dice results. Um, Granted, this would work on an X-Wing as well if you rolled three blanks or if you're a range one A-Wing attack or if you're firing a, t a missile or something like that. But, uh, you know, it, the, the idea here is if you're you're taking that range three shot, oh, well, what the heck, oh, I rolled two blanks, darn it. Well, I get to re-roll them now. So, you know, it works really, really well on an A-Wing. And in case you just happen to completely whiff a roll and roll all blank on defense dice, you know what, you can re-roll them all too. So that's nice. The only thing it doesn't work is this, if you only rolled one die for whatever reason, uh, then it would not work in that case. Um, we have some missiles. We've got proton rockets, which are going to be real good on the A-Wing. That's a five die attack if they're in your bullseye arc. And, uh, you know, and, and it can be range one to two. They're not going to, you're not going to get an extra die at range one, however. But, the, you know, like proton rockets... You know, on 1.0, you could only use at range 1. So now you're getting a little flexibility, although it's going to be harder to hit them because they have to be in that bullseye arc. So in a lot of cases, these will still end up being a range 1 weapon because if you're really trying to get that bullseye arc, a lot of times it puts you in range 1. It's easier to get it in range 1 at least. And uh, But it's only one shot with those. But again, you only have to have a focus. So there, it's not that hard to uh, to fire them. We've got the uh, homing missiles. Uh Four dice in the front, out of the front arc. Uh, you're going to range two to three. No defensive, no no range bonus. Two charges. You can spend a charge after you declare the defender. The defender may choose to suffer a damage. If it does, you skip the attack and defense steps. So, and again, this is nothing new. We've seen this one before. Uh, we also are getting an extra copy of primed thrusters, which you do not get in the T70 pack, but you do get two of these in the conversion kit. Uh, so if you wanted another Primed Thrusters, this is another place that you can get one. While you have two or fewer stress tokens, you can perform barrel roll and boost actions even while stressed. So, you know, not bad. Not bad. Especially on a ship that really flexes maneuverability, um, this is a great option. And here's the new one. Here's the new card. I don't believe you can get this where anywhere else. And I wonder if this artwork is teasing that we're going to see... 
uh, you know, a, a black one style um, Poe Dameron. We're going to see one of these in X-Wing 2.0. Um, so Ferrosphere Paint is basically telling us that uh, after an enemy ship locks you, if you are not in their bullseye arc, that ship games a stress token. And since bullseye arcs are kind of kind of hard to, to lock down, this is basically saying, hey, you target lock me if you want to, you're going to get a stress token every time you try to do that. Almost. Um, so that's that's pretty nice. That's actually a pretty solid, almost always good uh, tech, especially especially good on a small ship. This one might not be as good on a large ship, so I don't know if I would run this on like the Star Fortress or something like that, or or any of the any of the large ships. This one sounds best suited to small ships, and uh, you know nothing wrong with that. So yeah, guys, that is about it. Uh, this has been the. Uh, the T, uh, not T-70, the RZ-2 A-Wing. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hopefully, uh, you know, you guys are excited about 2.0. We also did the uh, X-Wing expansion unboxing too, so you can check that out. And uh, get started with your, you know, with your resistance games. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.